Our top story right now at 10, something a lot of people talking about today downtown. The Starbucks on Monument Circle will shut its doors for good, citing safety concerns. In a statement, the franchise tells us our first priority is to make sure our partners are safe at work. They say we'll continue to work to make sure that partners can focus on crafting exquisite beverages and creating connections in a safe, warm, and welcoming environment. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli spoke with nearby businesses and safety officials about this change, and she shares their response tonight from the heart of the Circle City. Managers of several businesses just steps from this coffee shop say they haven't had any specific safety concerns of their own, but still they're disappointed to see this longtime Starbucks location close its doors. This was a, a extremely busy 100% of the time, um, you know, Starbucks location. But on October 28th, it will serve its final coffee. It's going to hit hard. Starbucks citing non-specific safety concerns for the reason it will shutter its doors. Uh, it's a shame that they just did not communicate to us their concerns. We asked other stores on Monument Circle if they had concerns they want to share. I don't feel unsafe. I believe that, you know, we do have a homeless, a lot of homeless down here, but they um, pretty much stay to themselves. For me, I don't have concerns with my safety or my staff safety. safety. Rocket Fizz owner Kim Netting has been on the circle for 10 years. She says her team has protocols in place, including maintaining a strong relationship with police. They come in every morning, every day, just to say hi and see how we're doing. IMPD District Commander Phil Burton says those interactions give staff at stores a chance to talk with officers and share any concerns. And we were not made aware of any type of uh, safety concerns. Burton says downtown district has put a quote massive amount of officers to patrol on and around the circle. They're also using technology like mobile cameras to monitor in real time from the incident analysis center. Even uh, downtown in the inked officers that work through them, you know, they actually do extra patrols on the circle as well. A spokesperson for Downtown Indy Inc. shared a statement, reading in part, quote, While today's announcement is disappointing, data indicates that downtown continues to be the safest district in Indianapolis, accounting for less than 5% of overall crime. Looking at our run load, we do not receive that many calls for service to Monument Circle, to any of the businesses on Monument Circle. Burton says they also have an agreement with businesses that allows them to arrest for criminal trespassing on private property, even after hours. Starbucks and their corporate office refused to sign that with IMPD. So that kind of hinders us when, when you're talking about private property. This closure a shock to nearby businesses and public safety officials alike. Reporting downtown, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thanks. The city releasing a statement on the closure tonight saying in part, quote, the city continues to work with IMPD and stakeholders to keep downtown a safe and vibrant place to live, work and play. They say thanks to that collaboration as well as investment in public safety ambassadors, IMPD cameras, and expanded cleaning capacity, downtown remains the safest district in Marion County. Now, as we mentioned, the downtown Starbucks is one of many across the country. The company has closed due to uh, undisclosed safety concerns, but these closures have taken on a heightened significance because of an ongoing unionization effort at Starbucks locations. In July, Starbucks announced 16 store closures because of safety concerns. The Associated Press reported that three of those stores had either voted to unionize or petitioned to hold a union vote. Since last year, more than 190 stores have voted to unionize. U.S. labor law doesn't prevent Starbucks from closing stores for business reasons, but it can't close a store in retaliation for unionizing efforts. The labor group organizing the effort planned to file unfair labor practice charges against Starbucks on behalf of some of the unionized stores that were closed. The Starbucks here in Indy had not made any efforts to unionize. Now the employees at the downtown location will have the chance to transfer to another location. There is another Starbucks, several of them nearby in downtown Indy. You can read full statements and more reaction to this story on our website at fox59.com.